Hey guys, Mr. Jennings uh, again. I um, want to go over chapter 24 a little bit, uh, knowing God's will. And uh, this was also a chapter that you did a um, couple weeks back now. Um, before we get into that, I wanted to do wanted to share. I, I try to make this, even though we're not in a classroom, I do want to make it a little bit more natural, at least for me as I'm talking, because it's a strange way to do this for me. Um, but uh, as you can see, I'm in my home. Actually, the picture behind me there, that is uh, the farmhouse on the farm. Uh, so I spent the first like two years of my life uh, in that house before we moved up to the house also on the property but the house that my parents built uh, which they still live in today I know when I talked about my accident I talked about that um, but basically the if you look the farmhouse is here and then basically right up the hill from there is where the the barn and all those things are and that's where my accident happened and we talked a little bit about where it was um, but that's that's that but again to make it a little more of a natural classroom situation I tried to make sure I had two people here as you can see I got to move my phone a little bit I got two sleeping students uh, there's my chihuahua Norman he's sleeping there and then over on the other side I have a sleeping deacon they're snoring hopefully you cannot hear them but for me and that makes it a little more like a natural uh, classroom setting uh, for me because sleeping students that aren't really listening and storing and kind of being a distraction so uh, I do I know I showed you guys the shirt when I ordered it but I was wearing it for you guys to see a uh, little chief here a little 49er guy here um, again I don't condone smoking unless we're talking about what the Chiefs did to the 49ers in the fourth quarter so uh, again just for fun I thought I'd wear this for you guys today and now Deacon is licking uh, himself, which is very distracting. Deacon, please stop. Deacon. All right, sorry. Again, just like the classroom setting, I have to get the uh, class back under control uh, before we can continue on, I guess. So, And he's at it again. Stop. All right, so anyway, looking at chapter 24, um, knowing God's will and um, you know that's something that's important that we all learn um, uh, and as I talked about a little bit in the last chapter you know having this downtime to hopefully spend some more time growing closer to God and learning what his will is uh, chapter 24 as you work through it there were some key points that I wanted you to hopefully uh, grasp as we went through it but God has a purpose for us finding God's will is simply learning what that purpose is uh, another key point, we shouldn't expect to know how to make good choices in the unclear areas uh, of life if we're unwilling to uh, obey God, yield to Him uh, in the areas that He's already made clear. As in the things that we see in the Bible, the things we know, when we look at what's God's will for my life, sometimes it's unclear to us. It's it's not put in the Bible, Mr. Jennings, you are supposed to do this. Or any of you guys, your name is not in the Bible with, hey, this is what you are supposed to do. So if we can't yield ourselves to what he wants us to do in the clear areas in his word where he says, do this, don't do this, then we're going to really struggle with yielding to what he wants us to do and seeing what he wants us to do with our lives um, in the unclear areas, things that aren't clearly laid out in his word um, that we can just say, hey, that's what I'm supposed to do. Um, and then lastly, knowing God's will uh, is first of all seeking and knowing God himself. Uh, to, to know what his desire is for us and what, is, what he wants us to do with our lives, we have to know him. And there's things that we need to do, uh, as we looked at in the, in the chapter there, that we need to put the effort into making sure that we are doing. Um, there was a section in the chapter, uh, How to Know God's Will, and that's how, um, an area where you had to provide your own answers for um, as you went through the chapter and as I ask you to do make sure you're filling those in I am checking to make sure those things are done um, but how can we know God's will and just to kind of give you some points one of the things like I said I want to just touch on a couple things as we go through these chapters um, some of the things there how to know God's will and several of these things first of all be a child of God to be actually um, be a Christian be saved and to have the Holy Spirit in your life and in your heart uh, that he can actually lead you and show you what God's will is. If you're not a child of God, then how can he lead you and show you what you need to do? Um, how also, how to know God's will. Be obedient to God's commands. Uh, have no unconfessed sin toward God or man. 
uh, put God and his ways first in your life. Be in the Bible and in prayer, you know, faithfully. That's always like an easy answer. What, how do I, how do I do what God wants me to do? Read your Bible and pray. Read your Bible and pray. Well, why do we say it so much? Because that's what we need to do. And, you know, how can we know him uh, if we don't talk to him, if we don't allow him to talk to us? Um, it's, it's, a, it's a very important thing. Uh, a, a couple more things, how to know God's will. Submit to God and trust him to guide you. Um, another one, have a relationship with God so he can guide you. Um, so submit to him, have a relationship with him, be in the Bible, be in prayer, uh, keep sin out of your heart that you can trust, uh, that you can allow him to speak to you. That doesn't put up that wall that keeps you from knowing what he wants you to do. So again, that was just a section in that chapter where I didn't really provide you answers in the book of how to know God's will, but those are just some uh, thoughts there um, as you look at that. Uh, additionally, knowing God's will, uh, looking at the teacher's lesson, it's a short section in this chapter of chapter 24, uh, but there are two uh, key areas that we're looking at there. Um, why should we desire to know God's will? Um, why should we do that? Because God made us each for a purpose. He's made all of us um, but he has made each of us as an individual, all right, with a particular purpose uh, in our lives. We each have, you know, within the class, just in this class of seventh graders, there are different personalities, uh, there are different emotions, there are different talents, there are different gifts, there are different sizes, there are different skills, there are different shapes. Uh, we are all so different, but each of us has a purpose that God has given to us and that he wants us to fulfill. Uh, so we need to make sure we're putting that effort into the things that I talked about of how to know God's will uh, to find out what God has for me to do, what God has for you to do. Um, we each have a purpose, uh, and we need to make sure that we are um, striving to fulfill that purpose. Um, you know, I was thinking about this as I was looking at this lesson. Uh, my hair is, I haven't been to a barber shop. It's, it doesn't look too crazy yet, but I have a feeling it will if I let it go too much longer. Um, but there are razors, there are uh, scissors that I could use to trim it up if I need to um, and not let it go. I wouldn't go out and get the lawnmower out if I need a haircut. All right, I have enough head injuries already as it is. I'm not going to do that. All right, and in the same way, uh, as it's starting to uh, turn to springtime, it's getting warmer, it's, it's raining. Even today it's raining as I'm recording this video. Um, the grass is going to start growing. I wouldn't take those that same razor or those scissors that I would use for my hair out and cut the grass. I would use the lawnmower. So each thing has its purpose that it is designed to do. And we are the same way. We are designed with a purpose, something that God wants us to do, something that no one else can do in the way that we can do it. And then there's things that someone else might have to do that we can't fulfill. So we need to make sure we are striving to find God's will for us and then making sure we are trying to do it. Um, so continuing on with the teacher's lesson, the second part was doing, what does doing God's will mean? All right, we say do God's will, find God's will, but what does that mean? Well, first of all, uh, obey the clear commands from the Bible. And these are things that were in your teacher's lesson. So these aren't things that you don't already know if you've already done the chapter. Obey clear commands from the Bible. Uh, second, do what God has designed us to do. All right, and then lastly, please God. So the three keys to knowing what does God's will mean for us, obey clear commands from the Bible. Those are the obvious things, all right? Then do what God has designed us to do. That is maybe, you know, going to take a little more effort of learning and growing in the Lord and spending time with him to find because they're not just laid out in the Bible for us to say, hey, this is what I need to do. It's not like the Ten Commandments where it says this is what I should do, but there's more there to it. Uh, and then lastly, please God. So basically, as we're looking at... Um, knowing God's will for us, there's a couple key things I want you to remember. Uh, use what God has given you uh, to glorify Him. Uh, seek God's interests in your life, not your own. And then even when decisions are difficult, make the decisions that please God. And hopefully, the more time you spend in the Word of God and in His uh, in his presence praying uh, and spending time with Him, hopefully the more you do that, the more that your interests will be God's interests. Um, and the decision ple that pleases God is the one that pleases you, all right? So uh, the more and more you put effort into that, and that's something I've said throughout the year quite a bit, 
uh, growing in that spiritual maturity. Hopefully we're doing that. Uh, and the more we do that, the more we're going to see that our thoughts align with God's thoughts. And as we do that, and as we grow that way, more and more we see God's will. And we know that we are in God's will, and we can have a peace that knowing we are in God's will. Um, before I pray, I forgot, I didn't do any jokes at the beginning of this video. So just a couple really quick. Um, this one, if you don't get it, you might have to check in with your English teacher from a distance. Um, a woman in labor suddenly shouted, shouldn't, wouldn't, couldn't, didn't, can't. Uh, the doctor said, don't worry. Those are just contractions. All right. And then uh, one more for today uh, before we pray uh, and wrap up with this lesson. Uh, the interviewer said, how do you explain this four-year gap on your resume? Uh, my response was, that's when I went to Yale. Uh, the interviewer responded, that's impressive. You're hired. And then I responded, thanks. I really need this, needed this job. I may have said that one in class. I don't remember, but uh, I thought it was pretty good. And if you're struggling with that one, he said Yale, but he pronounces his J's like Y's. That's why he said Yale and Yob. It's jail and jobs. So he was four years in jail, not four years at Yale. All right. Sometimes I just feel like I need to explain those. But let's pray, uh, and then we'll wrap up chapter 24. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you again for the opportunity to uh, gather a little bit and just share uh, some things from this chapter of knowing your will. Uh, Lord, be with each of us again as we're separated and not in the usual classroom setting. Uh, Lord, I certainly miss being with the class. Uh, and just uh, having that time to discuss these things and to see the growth and the knowledge increasing in the students. Uh, just be with each of them. Be with any requests that they might have on their hearts, anything that they're dealing with. Lord, just be with each of them. Thank you for them. Lord, I lift them up to you as they uh, probably feel like they're pretty far away from knowing what God's will is for their lives as far as what you want them to do. Um, but Lord, realize that they can know your will for them today and what you want them to do even as we're quarantined or we may be stuck in our house and away from people but Lord you have something for us to do and Lord if we can't do anything else Lord help us to make sure we spend that time with you uh, to uh, to grow closer to you and to um, have that fellowship and that relationship with you that can help us to see what what your will for us is Lord again we thank you for all that you do uh, for us and help us to come back together as we look at chapter 25 next and we'll thank you for it in your name we pray amen